Bangers Ball is out on the road at the Academy in New York City to bring you an exclusive preview of Morbid Angel's upcoming European tour. Of course, the guys are playing America first, and uh, I'm joined by Morbid Angel main man, David Vincent. So, hi, David. How are you doing? I'm doing very, very well. And you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Glad to be here. Um, now, there's been some changes for Morbid Angel since Bless Are The Sick, and the first thing I guess we have to broach is what's happened to your guitarist, Richard Brunel? Richard left the band. We had some uh, creative differences, as it were. Um, that really didn't have a lot to do with the songwriting, though, because Trey and I write all the material anyway. So we have a new record. We feel really good about it. We have a new record deal, actually, in America, um, and we're... I uh, decided to kick off the tour in America first. We usually go to Europe first, and uh, we're going to warm up here, and we're going to bring the show over to Europe come September. Okay. So did Richard leaving the band affect the, or the writing and the recording of the new album, Covenant? Not really, because like I said, Trey and I read all the material anyway, so... But it didn't create a bad atmosphere or anything? No, it didn't. Well, it uh, certainly gave, and we wear a two-guitar band, so that we still have enough guitars on the record for all those of you <laughs> know the record anyway. Um, there's enough guitars in the record for two guitars, so we have actually hired uh, Eric Rutan from Ripping Corpse to uh, do the tours both in the United States uh, and abroad. The new album is called Covenant, and uh, that is kind of a secret pact or something. Now, is that something that's just within the band, or is, does it encompass a lot more than just the band? Well, it can encompass anything that uh, you want it to encompass. It's up to you, and it's up to the listener to decide what it means for them. It does mean very, very many things, but uh, the first of which is certainly is no compromise mm -hmm. on, uh, on our creativity mm -hmm. or our message. I don't footnote myself much anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, because I think that it, it destroys what people's perception of things can be. Mm -hmm. um, I think we get out a, a pretty fair package, which is a good representation of Morbid Angel. Mm -hmm. They have the lyrics, they have the music, and it, it's up to the listener what it, to uh, figure out what it you know, means to them. Okay. I just wondered if it had any significance between you and Trey, because I know you have a, like a very long-term, very intense kind of working relationship. Well, we do, and there's something it, it, that it has been tried to be compromised by a lot of different people. Um, a lot of roadblocks have come up. Certainly, you know, the extremity of our music is not something that is tolerable to everyone. Um, but their intolerance is intolerable to us. <laughs> so uh, we're going to continue doing what we do, which is playing the most brutal music known to man. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to do it with the style that only Morbid Angel can. Blasphemy! 
And I was wondering for this record if you tried to set yourself apart in any way from the rest of what's happening in death metal at the moment. Well, actually what's happening in death metal at the moment is a lot of people are hybridizing their sound, trying to cross over and do different kinds of things. And I feel like Morbid Angel has helped at, at, at list, uh, at the very minimum, to uh, define this, mm. this whole genre of music. So there's no reason for us to walk away from it. Um, we do it very well. We have a drummer who, who can play speeds unknown to anything other than a machine. And uh, we're going to continue to to blaze our path and and take death metal to new heights, which I don't think what we know that what those heights are yet, but uh, certainly we're going to push them. We're going to push them as far as we can. Just carrying on from that subject a little bit, um, what what do you find the most challenging to do? Do you, to in terms of being extreme, do you find the music or the lyrics to be the most challenging if you if you want to be ultra ultra extreme and brutal? Well, the music is. It's really, it's not a, a, a set thing to try to be as extreme as we can. I and mean, we have elements within our band that are beyond our control. Um, so the music comes out in such a way where everything about our band is very honest and it's very feeling is what we feel at the time. So any lyric that I write is not something that's not very, very personal to me. Um, and the music, Trey comes up, Trey's a very sick individual and he comes up with very sick guitar riffs and, and it's just very, very plain and simple, very cut and dry. Um, and when we go set about writing a song, it, it's very much uh, how do we feel at the time, what do we want to express. Um, we had a lot of frustrations pent up, uh, thus the, the whole approach for Covenant. Mm -hmm. I mean, 